If the length and breadth of a rectangular room are each increased by 1 meter, then the area of the floor is increased by 21 square meters. If the length is increased by 1 meter and the breadth is decreased by 1 meter, then the area is decreased by 5 square meters. What is the perimeter of the floor? Now we have been asked what is the perimeter of the floor. Perimeter is equal to twice of L plus B, twice of length plus breadth, right? Now we know area is equal to length times breadth. So A is equal to length times breadth. Now if the length and breadth of the room are increased by 1 meter, the area is increased by 21 square meters. So if I write L plus 1 times B plus 1, the area is increased by 21 square meters, so A plus 21. Now area is L times B, so we have LB plus 21 on the right hand side. On the left hand side, let us solve this. L times B plus L plus B plus 1 times 1. Okay, so this LB and this LB gets cancelled out. What you have is L plus B plus 1 is equal to 21 and therefore if this one goes to the right, you have L plus B is equal to 21 minus 1, that's 20. So you have L plus B. What you want is twice L plus B. And that's 2 times L plus B is 20. So perimeter is 2 times 20, that's 40 meters. Well, this was real quick, right? Now the question gave you extra information too. If the length is increased by 1 meter and breadth is decreased by 1 meter, the area decreases by 5 square meter. So you could have used this and calculated the actual lengths and the breadth. So there was no need for that, we just calculated it like this. A rectangle has width A and length B. If the width is decreased by 20% and the length is increased by 10%, then what percentage of AB is the new area? So the length is A and I mean the length is B and the width is A. So the area is equals to AB, right? Now let us calculate the new area. Okay, it will be equals to the length is increased by 10%. So this B is increased by 10%, that means 110% of B. So 110 upon 100 B times now the width or the breadth is decreased by 20 percent. So 100 minus 20 percent of A and that's 80 percent of A. So 80 upon 100 times A. Okay. Now we need to calculate what percentage of AB is the new area. Well we have AB here. Let us calculate, I mean let us solve all of these terms. So cancelling out these zeros, we have 88 upon 100 a B. Now this is not in percentage. To convert this in percentage you'll have to multiply it by 100. Okay. So this 100 and this 100 gets cancelled out. What we have is 88% of A B. Or if you hadn't multiplied that by 100 I could have written this as you know 88 by 100 times A B I could have written this as 88% of A B. So the new area is 88% of AB and that is option B. A cloth when bleached was found to have lost 20% of its length and 10% of its breadth. What is the percentage decrease in the area? Now as everything is in percentages in this question and even we have been asked the answer in percentages, we can assume the values of length and breadth. So let the length be 10, let's say 10 units and breadth be also 10 units. Now the area will be equal to 10 times 10 and that's 100. So basically this area is 100%. Now it has been given that you know the cloth when bleached was found to have lost 20% of its length. So the new length is 20% less of 10, the old length. So 20% less of 10 will be 8, 10 minus 2, right? And the new breadth is actually 10% less than the older breadth.
and that will be 10 minus 1 that will be 9 okay now the new area will be equals to 8 times 9 and that's 72 okay now we have been asked what is the percentage decrease in the area so the old area was 100% new area is 72% right so a minus a1 will be equals to 100 minus 72 and that is 28% okay so the percentage decrease in the area is 28% so option D is the correct answer the length of a rectangle is decreased by r percent and the breadth is increased by r plus 5 percent find the value of r if the area is unaltered now let the length and breadth of the rectangle be l and b respectively so you know you can find out the area so area is equals to length times breadth now this area should be unaltered even if we decrease the length and increase the breadth and that's what is given in the question so this is equal to the length is decreased by r percent so i can write 100 minus r percent of length times the breadth is increased by r plus 5 percent so it can be written as 100 plus r plus 5 percent of the breadth okay now we can cancel out L and B on the left hand side and the right hand side okay so this is basically 1 is equals to 100 minus R times 105 plus R divided by 10,000 100 times 100 is 10,000 so we have 10,000 is equals to 105 times 100 that's 10500 plus 100 r minus 105 r minus r square so you have 10000 is equals to 105 minus you know minus 105 plus 100 is 5 r minus r square so r square plus 5 r minus 10,500 plus 10,000 gives you minus 500 is equals to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. If you solve this quadratic equation you will get two values of r and those two values of r will be r is equals to 20 and r is equals to minus 25. Now rate cannot be negative so you take the positive value. Right. So option D is the correct answer.